Word can keep track of changes made to a document, marking the text that is added, known as insertions, or the text that's removed, known as deletions. Sometimes this is helpful when you're working alone, but it's especially helpful when someone else is editing your document. You can see what changes are made, and you have the option to accept or reject those changes. Here's how it works. Here we've got our document. This is Treasure Island. And suppose we want to change the words in this song. We're going to change Yo-Ho-Ho and a bottle of rum to a bottle of milk. The first thing to do if you want to track changes in a document is to go up here to the Review tab and then turn on the track changes. Just by clicking that button, you can see it has a few different options in here, but track changes is the one that you want to toggle on, and this will be highlighted if you're tracking the changes. Now, if I select rum and I type in milk, it's deleting the word rum and adding the word milk, and we can see that change in my document. I can do the same thing down here. So now we have two edits in the document, and we can see them. Now, if we find it difficult to work in that view, what you can do is go up here to the display in the tracking group here, this display menu, and choose Final. And then it just shows us the change that we've made. When we see Final and Markup, it shows us the change with the edit in place, both the text that's deleted and then the text that's inserted is underlined. We have get the little bar along the side here to show if you're quickly scanning a page, you can see where the edits are. Now, if we want to see the original, you can just go to the original and click that. And that goes back, our bottle goes back to rum, and we don't see the edit that we made. So that's how the view works. Usually the easiest one to work with is either this final or the final show markup if you want to see the markup. Suppose somebody had made changes to this document, and I want to see what changes they've made. I might start at the very beginning of my document. I'm up here. Then I go to my changes list, and I could click on next, and it will jump to the first edit and display it for me. I can see the deleted word and the added word, and I can accept or reject that change. So if I click accept, it goes ahead and it makes that change. It removes the deleted word, and if I click accept for the changed word, so it officially accepted that, and my text has changed permanently. That edit will no longer show on the track changed list. And if I want to go through all the edits in my document, I can just keep clicking Next to go forward through the list or Previous to go back through the list. And again, you can accept the changes as they occur. And that's the way it works. I'm going to undo here, put my changes back. Now, in this view, you can see the markup in the document. You can also see the reviewing pane will show the markups too. This is a little bit more elaborate list of the changes that occur in the document, and it keeps track of edits and deletions and shows them in here. And you can jump to them just by double-clicking on the list. So it just gives you another way to view the same thing. Personally, I find it easier just to work within the document when I'm working on accepting and rejecting edits in my text. In this lesson, you saw how to track changes as you edit text. You also learned how to change the display between the final and the original document. You learned how to navigate through the edits so that you can accept and reject the changes.